Hi. How are you doing? I'm good in yourself. I'm good. I'm good. Are you ready to get started? Yes, yes. All right. So Blood and Water is a part of Netflix South Africa, and it premiered in 190 countries, and it was in the top 10 for the United States, the UK, and also Brazil. What was it like gaining such a global following with this show? Uh, it, it was overwhelming because, like, when shooting it, you have an idea of what you would like it to achieve. And like, for me personally, I was just hoping that people would love it. But the extent and the how much love we receive from it is still overwhelming to this day. Um, yeah, it's, it's just overwhelming. And sort of with this show, it's kind of like your big break. How did you get into acting? Oh, how I got into performance in general was sort of by accident. Uh, so like when I was in grade three, me and my best friend decided we we're going to join dance at our, at our primary school. And at the end of the year, he had to leave to go back home. And I'm not sure if it was Canada or, or Nigeria. I'm not sure. So he had to go back home. And then I completely forgot about it when grade four came. The teacher called. I said, oh, I remember I signed up for dance. I went into the class and I saw a lot of girls, like I think about 26 of them, just standing with tutus and leotards. I said, miss, this is the wrong class. <laughs> but she said, no, you're going to stay. And then I think from that point, she like continuously called me to come to class because I didn't want to come to class. So she called me to come to class. And then I got into the swing of actually dancing and then I fell in love with performing. Um, so I started off with ballet and then from there, because I love performing and putting a smile on an audience member's face, I then thought, okay, why don't I try acting? And then we had a play, I think in grade seven, where we did, I think Cinderella Rockefeller, the musical. And then from that point, I auditioned for it. I got, through the grace of God, I got the role of the villain. I think it was fairly nasty boots. I got the role of it. And then I actually enjoyed also speaking um, as well as just using my body as the instrument, as the instrument in dance. And then I think from that point on, I just, I love performing. But it was initially by accident, yes. Wow. And so with the show, um, having this global following and now all eyes are kind of on South Africa, um, what is, where is your favorite place to go in South Africa? Oh, I think home right here. Like I, I would go anywhere because I think in, 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 West, in the Western Cape, in Cape Town in general where I live, there is so much to see, so much that I haven't seen yet. So I think definitely home to go to either Camps Bay or to the Mojo Market or to UCT campus or just here in my hometown, Belar. It's just ah, home would be my answer. Yes. And with the following, have you been able to connect with this fan base online? I have tried. I have tried. Um, I haven't like answered personally every single DM that I've received by Instagram or the love and support that I've received by messages. But I do try and, and send my appreciation by posting it or whichever way I possibly can. But it's, it's definitely been me trying to reciprocate the love that they've shown me, trying to give it back and thanking them for the support that they've given. And there's been a lot of excitement in just have, being able to have an international show, but especially an international show coming out of um, the continent of Africa, especially South Africa, Rainbow Nation. Um, what do you want viewers to learn about the country? Oh, I, I think through just watching the show itself, there's a lot to take from it about our country. And I think what Gambit Films, as well as Netflix has shown with Blood and Water, they showed a side of South Africa where we as people of color, we as South Africans have means and we have moved, I won't say on from a, from a certain point, we have moved to a point where we can all say that we are able to either support for ourselves or able to support for another person. I, want, I hope that, that the world can take, that we can be seen as another country that is able to, that goes through the exact same situations that they go through. Um, and I think even with the character storylines, it's something that anyone around the world can relate to. It's universal topics. Um, so I think that's the one thing that I hope that, that people can take from it, the diversity of, of our nation itself, and that we now as a country have means and can and go through the same things that other people around the world go through. It's not just us or it's not just someone else. It's universal. Right. And sort of with the social media responses, a lot of the experiences um, we were seeing on the show, a lot of Black people here in the States and in Brazil, across the world could relate to. What was that like sort of seeing that kind of universal experience going around the globe? I, it, ah, it was lovely. And, and I think what, what, what our show has done, Blood Water has done, they've showed, our show is led by beautifully strong Black-led women. And I think that alone already said something for us, 
So receiving it and, and, and it being received as well as it has been, I think that alone is, is a dream come true. And it's definitely a blessing to be able to see the love that we are receiving for putting on that stance that we have. Yeah. And sort of having such a strong group of creatives and storytellers, what was that like sort of all working together and collaborating to tell the story? Oh, it was fun. It was fun. My, my first job was with Gambit Films. So like, I felt like I just went back home to them. So it, was, it wasn't hard to fall into the swing of things that made you feel comfortable at every point of the production. And I think just being able to pick from their minds and them being, or them allowing you to give them what you, what you think about the character, what you think about that specific part of the story, them allowing it and working it into what they already have planned for the show. I think that connection and that communication between us and the, and the creators was definitely a lovely experience. Well, with the character of Wade, we kind of see him in this love triangle <laughs> on the show. What was that like creating <laughs> a dynamic with your castmates? Oh, it was fun. I think also for, for with Wade himself, because of how authentic he is, it doesn't sugarcoat the reaction, doesn't sugarcoat a feeling. I think also it relates a lot to me. So I was able to just instantly react to when I was playing opposite Pulling or playing opposite KB. It just came naturally and that easily formed into a, a the love triangle that we see now. We were able to bounce with each other in the mindset of the characters. Um, so being able to do that with, with people who I feel so comfortable with, and I didn't, at the point, I didn't realize how flow, how easily our conversations flowed and how easily we were able to bounce with each other. But then when watching the show, I saw, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and so it's been announced that the show has been renewed for another season. What are you looking forward to see with season two? Ooh, more drama. <laughs> I feel like in season one, <laughs> I feel like in season one, there was a whole lot of drama. So I think there's definitely been a standard set for drama. So definitely to see the creators push that limit of the drama that we have already reached and to just keep us intrigued like they have done. So um, there's nothing specific that I just would love more drama. Yeah. yeah. And sort of for our viewers and our audience, what are any final words you would want to say? Thank you. I think, I think the, biggest thing that I can say is thank you. I've, I truly appreciate all the love and support that I've received from around the world. It's just thank you. Yeah, and all capital letters, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you. And please enjoy. I know it's like the afternoon over there, so definitely go out. And yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank Bye. you. Thank you. Bye.